sorry, Dr. Mike, uh, you don't have knockout power. Sorry. Your punches are like little butterfly kisses. Dude, I, I, think, I think everything he says is funny. Some, his voice? Some people have a, a certain type of voice. And, and like they, they, they have a, they have a way about them that like just the way yeah. that they speak everything they say is like sarcastic. Yeah. He's one of those people, yeah. and it's really funny when you troll him because he has this combination of like not knowing how to respond, but also like his it, you can it feels like he doesn't know how to respond to you when you're talking. Like whenever I mess with him, he I, I, like it feels like he doesn't know how to like. Respond to what I'm saying, but he also gives the perfect response at the same time. Yeah. So it makes it's it really. That he doesn't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah. It's delivery really funny. Delivery is so important. So. The delivery of everything he says is funny. Sorry, Dr. Mike. Uh, you don't have knockout power. Sorry. Yeah, and it makes him Your sound condescending. Are like exactly. Butterfly kisses. One of the coolest events in YouTube history just went down this weekend. It's the best boxing event that a YouTuber has thrown on yet. This event was just amazing. Creator Clash uh, is, a, is a W for sure. Thank you guys. I honestly just had such a good time. The crowd was incredible for every single fight. The vibes were better at Creator Clash. They just were. It was just a more fun crowd. An amazing night of fights. We had knockout after knockout after knockout. I'm sitting in front row thinking I'm about to get knocked out. You, you know what's crazy is is the crowd at this event was so good. We didn't even know this because we didn't have anything to really compare it to. Like we were just like the energy here is unreal. That's it. But we were hearing from other people like normally at boxing events the crowd is toxic. It is it is not fun. It is yeah. it is stressful. It's I can imagine. It's it's, it's really like kind of aids. And I think probably a lot of people that go to those events have money on the line and everything too. So right. it's different, but so th yeah. the way this was and like it being like a like it's it's a content creator thing and it's you had yeah. a lot of people there that are not even boxing fans that would show that yeah. showed up and they were just having a great time. Yeah. It's and a whole different crowd of people. Yeah. And it was uh it, it was just it, they were they were just cheering for everybody. Somebody yeah. would get punched in the face really hard and they'd be like, Oh, they cheer for that guy and then the other guy would come back and then they cheer for the other guy. So it was just yeah. like they just liked watching everybody just like beat the hell out of each oh, other. Oh, it sounds like so much fun. It was really cool. It was it was really, really cool. Uh, it's especially like that at other creator events. Wait, really? Are, are other are other creator events toxic? I just think it was, dude. It was. I'm telling you, chat. The the creator clash was so good. It it was absolutely incredible. This was an amazing event. Greetings and salutations, my mug blooded friends. Today we're going to be talking about creator clash. I'm going to talk a little bit about my fight with this? Dr. Mike. This is items. And uh, just the event as this a whole. This is the guy whole. who hosted the whole. Everyone's thing. telling me it was fun. I kind of wanted it to be like a second VidCon. Or like a Super Bowl type thing, uh, and I'm super glad that it, it ended was. up being kind of that. I don't know. Like everyone else pulled it off, and I was just sitting in the locker room pissing myself. <laughs> I'd like to thank Dominic Cotter and his team for putting on the live stream production because it was fucking insane. Real good touring, uh, concurrent. Uh, everyone on those teams, they fucking killed it. The USF campus. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm in hog it. heaven no, right now. I want to roll around in my own it's, shit. It's I'm weird. so happy. It's not weird. So yeah, thank it's you everyone. And of course, thank you to the fighters and their coaches because they had the hardest job. Because Anise and I didn't know what the fuck we were doing this whole time. We just said, hey guys, we're going to try to put on a boxing event on May 14th. And we're on, we're not even going to know the exact date uh, for you guys to fight until like the final... A couple months so please trust us the first fight of the night was very exciting uh big thanks to matt for putting on such a good show uh you know dad he came in and he decimated but you know it, it takes two to tango i don't think dad would have had as exciting of a fight if matt didn't do all that awesome shit that he did in the ring so big <laughs> thanks to matt uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to hold off on giving my opinion uh, on hey, a will, lot of these fights. Until hey, I will say this. A lot of people a lot of people were kind of like shitting on Matt after that fight because he just got owned. Like absolutely. Like, like it was like a 20 second fight. I feel like that wouldn't make me want to shit on him. That would make me want to like, are you okay? Like comfort him. Well, well, it, it was one of those things where it was like, well, people were like, you just got your ass beat. But, but the thing is, at the end of the day, like there's not a lot of people that, that could go out there and just exist what? like like uh, the yeah. amount of yeah, pressure because here's the thing you on, on stream like you'll be on stream in front of however many thousand people every day 
but you're behind your computer. Yeah. You're behind your camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you go and you you do like a uh, something like this with 10,000 people in the arena. Yeah. It's loud. Yeah. And it is it is you don't realize how many people that actually is yeah. in person. That makes sense. It's insanity, dude. Yeah. It is it is absolute insanity. It, it takes it take I mean, and he still went out there and he still put on the show beforehand. He was like being goofy and he, yeah. he hammed it up. He's like, the one that kind of looked like Eminem, we were saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Documentary comes out because there's a lot of like missing context and interesting stories that I want to tell. So uh, just be patient on that. A documentary will be available. The documentary is going to be sick. In the meanwhile, I have no problem talking about my fight and uh, how all that went down. Let's talk about the controversies first. And there were for some reason, quite a few during uh, my fight. Uh, the glove like? touch. So, Dr. Dr. Mike, Mike did a glove touch <laughs> immediately <laughs> in the punching. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Dr. Mike is definitely showing the cover oh. right away. A little bit yeah, people were pretty pissed about that. Because it kind of immediately, it kind of immediately puts him on his back heels. I didn't see what happened. Watch, watch, watch. So, did so typically, touch. how you're supposed to glove touch immediately in glove the touch and yeah. you back up, and it's kind of like a boom. Uh -huh. And he just he just went for it right away. Definitely showing the oh, it, it, yeah. yeah. A little bit of a cheeky yeah, those shot off the glove touch. I, I don't... There are a lot and of people I'm not going to say it was against that. the rules or anything. Because it technically it's, it's legal. Fine. He can do it. Uh, it definitely took Pretty me by surprise. Him. But it puts him on his back uh, heels immediately. I'm yeah. just not used to that energy. When I'm sparring, I've, I've hardly faced people who are like, all right, now you're going to fucking die, bitch. Uh, so it was just a little <laughs> bit much. You're doing uh, it you wrong know, if his intensity When a girl is on like the stream ep camera is 80%, content is 20%. Fix it. Thanks. <laughs> at a level 10, and there's two girls mine on was at stream. like a 7 doing? or an 8. So fair enough. That's how it goes. There's a lot of gray area in boxing. You know, he could have fucking elbowed me or I could have elbowed him during the match and no one's going to fucking see it, you know? Even with all the slow-mos and shit, like, it's, it's hard to catch anything. So there's a lot of, like, dirty or gray area in boxing and I don't necessarily blame anyone for taking advantage of it. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, the other one, um, which I don't think too many people mentioned, was... Uh, uh, me punching after the bell. The biggest one of the <laughs> he did. He totally did. <laughs> I actually saw that. He gave him an extra one at the end. I think it was like on the, I want to say it was if a final round. Phase you, like, but I, the... I don't know what I did. I, I threw out. I, he's just, he's just, he's just throwing everything he's got at the last second. I was yeah, fucking exactly. tired. So uh, didn't yeah, the fight sell very thing. badly? I didn't mean no, to do dude. it. I was tired. There were a, so over a hundred thousand pay per view tickets were sold to this. Wow. And ten thousand in person. Were there. Wow. Yeah. That's nuts. That's, That's huge. Yeah. Are you going to watch the full Clash of Chat now? Yeah. So, guys, on Wednesday, on Wednesday, I'm going to do a full, I'm going to react to the whole thing on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday, we're going to watch the full thing. Um, yeah, on Wednesday, we, because uh, I, I talked to them about it. Fanned my man. And, uh, Please tell me you signed up for the next boxing event. Was looking forward to you one-shotting them for. Well, I mean, I was actually going to box in this last one, but, uh. It's, it's kind of a long story, but basically everybody, like, there was, like, a carousel of people p fighting and getting injured and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it just turned out to where I said if, if I end up not having a matchup, that's okay. And I want to help out with the show because, like, I'm, like, fully invested in this thing at this point. Yeah. And then, ironically enough, I end up breaking my hand the week of. I ironically enough. But, uh, but yeah. So, I wouldn't have been able to fight anyway, but also I wouldn't have gone to Korea if I was fighting in this. Are we supposed to box Harley? That was that was one. It was either going to be Harley, Eric, uh, or anything for views. And then I had some injuries. You guys remember during the subathon, I hurt my neck at one point. Like, I was kind of out of training for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Chad, anything for views, was also out of training for a little bit. So we are like, okay, well, let's match up S-Fan and anything for views together. And um, that way, like, because they're both kind of, like, they've had some injuries or whatever, see what happens. If one of them has to drop, then S-Fan will just go help with the show. Mm -hmm. And then he ended up getting, like, sciatica, like, leg pain. Mm -hmm. And then he ended up dropping, and whenever he dropped, I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll do the show. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'd have a hard time watching that. I have a hard time watching people punch each other in the face. Yeah, I mean, it's it was pretty, like... I used to watch UFC, too. I don't know how I did it anymore. It was, it was pretty... There was times where it was, like, pretty brutal, but at the same time, like... 
it was a very like respectful like not weird thing yeah but yeah no i was talking to, i was talking to items about it and and on wednesday we're going to do a uh, a full react to the to the whole thing the other controversy was that uh our four three minute rounds was switched to five two minute rounds dragon off thank you for the five gift there. thank you dude thank you ss thank you ryan thank you zilius thank you fakomi for the one year thank you fakomi i i thought we were going for three Oh, Road Warrior, I just saw your video. The reason that Mike and I were doing four three-minute rounds in the first place was we wanted to simulate as close as we could what a professional boxing match would be. And professionals do three-minute rounds, and they wear 10-ounce gloves. The Boxing Commission didn't want us doing a professional fight, so we had to simulate it as close as we could. That means that we could do the three-minute rounds uh, but we couldn't do 10 ounce gloves. What we ended up fighting in was 12 ounce gloves. Where the controversy comes in is that uh, the timekeeper, or something happened where they stopped the clock and rang the bell at like uh, two minutes, after two minutes. So we didn't get that extra minute. I was completely unaware, and I assume Mike as well was completely unaware that that was two minutes. It felt fast, but I sort of was thinking in my mind the whole time like, Oh, this is what they mean by, like, time flies when you're having fun. Not that, actually. That kind of language that I've heard before made me think, like, oh, that was a fucking fast three minutes. But sure enough, it was two minutes, and I didn't realize that it was th these were two-minute rounds until the fourth round because I was like, oh, I thought this shit was over with. Uh, and you can see it on my face. I was like, what the fuck? Like... No. Yes. The explosivity is carrying into the later rounds. Oh. I'm not terribly disappointed with the outcome. I uh, I think you, know, you did good. I lost that would be awful. That's okay. Uh, I think I'd be more disappointed if I like didn't know why I lost or like I was confused about it or I got knocked out or something like that. But the reason I lost is like pretty clear to me. I had a lot of tools in my tool belt and I didn't use them all. And um, uh, not that I didn't. Uh, not that I underestimated Dr. Mike, I just didn't, uh, I didn't expect the level of uh, competitiveness and intensity. And that's a problem that I've had in the past as well. Everyone who knows their shit has basically told me this, uh, that you, lo you learn the most from your losses, and uh, I learned a fuck ton from this loss. So I'm, I'm excited because I do feel like I'm a better fighter after uh, you know this loss. You're amazing at the event. Uh, Thank you, dude. And I'm ready to to try it again as long as you guys want to see me fight again. By the way, the I'm final numbers aren't in yet, but uh, so it's looking good. like we're going to be raising close to one million dollars for charity. Uh, so nice. If you guys are a fan of Alzheimer's research and uh, heart disease research, that's here, Dad. What up, Union dude? Horse Foundation. You know, make sure you give this video a thumbs Hi, up because we really fucking killed it. Oh yeah, and I, I think it's also worth mentioning huge uh, one million with the dollars success of this event. Why not Creator Clash Two? Anyone mm -hmm. boxing? Anyone? I want it getting on the beaten that on I said by Dad's fellow cute. creators. Anyone? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. He's cute, actually, uh, he's very remember cute. to tune in next time when I pummel your parents. <laughs> We're gonna have a parental beatdown. Invite your dad to the next Creator Clash. Uh, cause we're going to have the dad gauntlet where I beat the shit out of your dads, uh, until I have been beaten. Make sure your dads are like five foot four, uh, wear suspenders and, uh, thick Coke bottle glasses. Only then will I be able to create a, a more of a gauntlet type environment. Sorry, Dr. Mike. Uh, you don't have knockout power. Sorry. Your punches Wait, are like little butterfly passed out or you didn't even <laughs> answer <laughs> lol. Are you gonna box next time, or are you too broken down, old man D? I don't know. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I answered. I answered. Didn't the I? The only time I explained I felt, what happened. Uh, we'll see what happens. An experience I don't know. like that is when I'm trying to defend myself from my dog's uh, barrage of kisses. I'm like, oh no, fuck! Uh, and sometimes my dog even hurts me worse than than you did. So sorry, Doctor Mike. You don't have knockout power. You do have black eye power. So the commentators can say that about you, but they, I mean, they, they can't say knockout power. Even with that those 12-ounce right. gloves, no knockout power. That's a shame. Items is great. Oh, frick.